As districts across the country grapple with whether to require masks in schools, the same debate is going on right here in the tri-state following updated CDC guidance. The agency recommends K-12 students wear a mask in school. One district with vocal parents on both sides of this debate is Sycamore Community Schools. WCPO 9 News reporter Josh Bazan breaks down the issue there. It's just vital that everyone is entitled to a safe and healthy school environment. Miranda Brady and two of her children joined a handful of parents Thursday to try and raise awareness about their belief Sycamore Community Schools should require masks for everyone when students return to the classroom next month. It's simple. It's rather be safe than sorry because if we're sorry, that means that kids are going to be sick and in the hospital and I definitely don't want it to be my kids or anyone else's kids. And it's not like we're asking kids to do something extreme. It's just simply a piece of of cloth. Alyssa Pillion Gentle is a Sycamore parent and pediatrician. She wants the school to listen to the CDC, American Academy of Pediatrics, and Cincinnati Children's, all of which are recommending universal masking for children and adults in school. Pillion Gentle acknowledges our region is in an okay spot right now when it comes to COVID-19, but says that could change. But if you look at other parts of the country, they're having a really hard time with this Delta variant. Um, and I, I don't want us to get to that point. I don't want kids to have to start getting sick for, uh, for there to be a change. But many parents disagree and want Sycamore Community Schools to make masks optional, something the district recommended in its last board meeting. I mean, you only get one chance of childhood, right? We're just trying to ensure that for our kids, we, we can get them back to that as soon as possible. Sycamore Community Schools says masks will be encouraged for the upcoming school year, but not required, although that safety plan is going to be discussed at a board meeting next Wednesday. The district said in a statement, quote, the current recommendation to the board is based on the latest local health data available. Currently, the transmission rate of COVID-19 is very low, and the vaccination rate among eligible residents is one of the highest in the area. Organizers of the mask optional effort say more than 1,000 parents and taxpayers support that plan from Sycamore Schools. If we're not going to take away the mask now, when? When is a good time, right? Like, I understand their argument is, oh, when they can be vaccinated, but I don't think that that will even happen because then they'll be unhappy with how many kids are vaccinated. It'll, it won't be enough. Sycamore Community School says if COVID-19 data changes locally or there are new recommendations or mandates from local, state, or federal health officials, that masking plan could change. But the thinking, at least for now, is to let families decide. Reporting at Sycamore Schools District Office, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.